back to another YouTube video. It is your girl in the way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. I low-key want to sing, you know, you are the way, Jesus, you're the only way. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, I'm just going to quickly start recording. As you guys already know, today I'm a little exhausted in comparison to other days and I'm exhausted for like different reasons. Uh, I just like school has really been hectic. Um, research is not, f it's, it's not, it's not clown business. It's serious that thing. It's, it's really serious. It's not a joke, you know. Um, so I'm going to quickly start recording. I forgot to like turn everything on. My Bible's already open. So there is one last thing to worry up. About. but anywho I am yeah I think I'm gonna start recording now it is day eight I cannot believe we've made it this far but today we're gonna talk about how love is not easily angered my favorite topic I have been waiting for well I feel like I say that about all of them because they just like really describe such they just put it in simple terms like they put it in terms where like it's easy to follow like the instruction is not hard it's not like he's saying like it's not hard honestly it's not hard but it is hard to execute but it's not hard to comprehend and i love this because um it links directly to the character of god uh which is that he is slow to anger i've spoken about this in my podcast before um where the Lord was like, because I, I, I'm, I'm studying the book of Jeremiah and the children of Israel, like before exile and stuff like that. So I've really been like in depth with that. And yeah, I don't think that I need to define what anger is as well, because we're all familiar with it. We all get a little mad, you know, and it causes us to say things that we don't want to say. It has led to so much unforgiveness because it keeps you bound on emotional highs. And I think this is something when I wrote this down, I was like, oh, conviction, conviction, because this is so me. And you hold this grudge. And the thing is, um, once it's related to your emotion, it therefore becomes a matter of self-control. It becomes a matter of um, learning when to say no and when to stop. And that is a fruit of the Spirit. So when you are immersing yourself in Holy Spirit, you are able to have the self-control to, to hold back from expressing unrighteous levels of anger, if that even makes sense. Um, and yeah remember in day one we spoke about patience and acceptance so to deal with anger one has to accept that they are angry and something has triggered them and the lord led me to read psalms 20 um psalms 37 verse 8 it says that refrain from anger and turn from wrath do not fret it leads only to evil anger allows the enemy to feed you lies I'll say that again. Anger allows the enemy to feed you lies. Oh my word. I don't know if it's my eyes focusing or the camera trying to focus. Because I'm that tired today that I think my eyes are focusing instead of the camera. Oh my word. What is happening? Something is going on in my eyes, but it's the devil, clearly. He's trying to distract me. But yes, as I was still saying, right? Like, anger allows the enemy to feed you lies. And if you haven't noticed when you are angry about one thing all of a sudden there is a heap of things that you are angry about all of a sudden you're questioning every single decision you've ever made in your entire life you are questioning your ability to make decisions like there's just so much that you start questioning just because you are angry and there's a lot to say about anger i feel like to keep it simple strive to be like god who is slow to anger to radiate his love honestly in simple terms because it is an emotion anger is an emotion not a lifestyle do not let them their enemy entrap you and let you leave in a, a box of um this frustration and i love this example because it always lives in my head like forgiveness is a prison that you keep yourself i mean unforgiveness is a prison that you keep yourself bound in and it's the same with anger like we keep ourselves angry like there's this one thing that I've heard that to sustain, like anything that you start, you have to sustain. 
and that's exactly the same thing with anger but the interesting thing about anger is that the enemy uses your anger to continuously lie to you to continuously like put his schemes against you to make sure that he steers you off course and you are not able to go back because he's keeping you bound and that's why love is not easily angered because love does not uh, focus it does not stay in the emotion of anger it 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 radiates compassion you know it forgives and that's like it's slightly linked to like tomorrow's devotional but like because like these definitions cannot be isolated from one another they all encompass to describe one thing which is love and i just want you today to really um sit down with yourself and really recognize the areas in your heart what makes you so angry because i feel like what i've noticed in my life usually because we do this in inner champion at my church it is like a course about um how there is a champion inside every single one of you this is interesting because this is like the ad that they used at church and it's stuck in my head there's a champion inside every one of you <laughs> it's not funny but like it's yeah i just i pick these kind of things up i don't know why but like when like one of those courses like the session that we do at the end uh at encounter is targeting the root cause of everything and anger always has a deeper root than what it is like like outbursts of anger are usually indicators of a deeper rooted issue in the background there's something in your in your room that you are ignoring there's something in your personal life that you're not dealing with that you really need to come to the lord about and like god listen uh this is what's up um when i was seven i'm trying to find an example that is not triggersome um, when I was seven, I experienced like a, an intense childhood. I experienced like, and ever since then, I've struggled to trust people. Uh, it does not matter who you are or what you've done to me, I will struggle to trust you. Why is the camera struggling to focus today? It's very interesting. Maybe I should remove the autofocus because it's, it's getting blurry every second, but anyway. Yeah, that is today's devotional. Just ask yourself, what makes you angry? And then once you learn your triggers, it's easier to really love people without um, imposing on them. Because sometimes your anger is honestly you not dealing with something in your personal space. And then you, you, you think somebody else is making you angry. No, it's a, it's a personal matter, that one. I'm trying to understand if it's my glasses or... It's really doing that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are listening on podcasts, don't forget to share this podcast with some amazing people. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.